Well, I'm Chris, and this is my airbrush paint booth video. I had to get into airbrushing because this is a $188 Tamiya Blitzer Beetle that I screwed the paint job up on. And if you look close, see those little white dots? And these plastic bodies have like static electricity. And oh my God, look right there. Just pull that out of the air, out of nowhere. When we started polishing, the little white dots were popping up because that's where little dust particles were on there when I first primed it, meaning that it was screwed up since the beginning. Okay, this is my first Tamiya hard body paint job, and the first time I've ever seen something that I'm painting just draw dust and lint out of the air as you're painting and screw everything up. So, so I got this from eBay. Here's the ad. Looks like we're gonna be able to keep the box with it too. Little instruction manual. So it's got the duct work for the vent. Very nice little case. It weighs a little more than you might think. So it only pulls 1.6 amps, so you could use it pretty much anywhere. It's not gonna pop the breaker. So this one has four meters squared of airflow. I've seen some with three. Okay, you set it down like this. Open this. So right here, make sure you get the one with the LEDs. They're gonna have price differences of about $10. Make sure you get these, you will want them. All right, let's see how easy it goes together. Come on. Very easy to set up. I like it better than I thought I would. Got this little turntable thing for your projects. So 110 scale Tamiya Blitzer Beetle body. It fits in there just fine. We're gonna be able to paint it no problems. All uh, right, here's a 116 scale. I painted with no paint booth and it turned out just fine. Fits in there perfect. So it's 16 inches across. Keep that in mind and about a foot tall. So I bought this one because that filter, we're gonna take it out and see exactly where it's pulling from. But if we really needed to, we could pull these off and modify it to make it a little bit bigger. But so far, I'm perfectly cool with the size of it. Okay, I think the filter, you just pull it out with your hands. The fan is just not right there. It's got this radiator shroud like a vent hood over a stove. And it's going to be pulling from all around the filter, which is awesome. Okay, so that's what it's giving you for the filters. Of course, you can put whatever you want back there. So far, it is better than I thought it would be. Once again, get the one with the LEDs. You won't regret it. So it just plugs in and hooks at the top. Very cool. Hook it. Plug it. Then we're going to plug that one in. So it has your AC power supply. And the cord's just a little over five feet. It's going to plug in right here. Turn it on. Dang! So this is outside to a real air compressor with like 120 PSI. All I need to do is blow the dust off and make it go back there. That's all I need. So we're not painting in this video, but we are gonna prime it. Hopefully we can save it. We'll hook the vent up in a second to demonstrate it. We just have that piece of styrofoam to see if it's gonna blow paint or what actually makes it past the filter. If we can suck that plastic in, it's going to suck lint in. Awesome. Yep, look at that. Look at that primer go back in there. This is perfect. Look at that. Damn, man, that's so freaking awesome. I love this thing already. Looks like we're going to be able to save the beetle. All right, that's good. Damn. primer so we're getting that coverage on there just right look at that reflection on that primer 
and then we ran out. That's okay, I'm not mad because we got just enough on there and you can tell that we're gonna be able to save this body 100%. So the only thing that I don't like about this so far is that the switch turns the fan and the light on at the same time. I'm gonna be adding a separate light button. Alrighty then, so you see what we're left with? A big freaking mess. So if you get one of these, I hope you wipe this thing down and don't just let it accumulate that crap. Got some citrus cleaner. As far as painting plastics, I did not prep or clean this turntable thing in any way. A win for Tamiya primer on plastics. That's insane. Kind of wish it would flake off. Okay, so for the airflow at four meters square, it seemed to be perfect. The filters, no primer on the styrofoam. So this is the stuff it gives you for the exhaust vent. This should clip. That actually snapped in there really well. So stretched out the vent hose is about five feet long you just kind of screw it see how it's screwing in there all right then this side just fits over there so it screws in left-handed be careful so then you crack your window open and stick that piece in there very cool all right let's see if we can squish this hose back into shape yes we can that is very cool i like that so i mean this is truly a portable paint booth look at that exhaust tube is very short at five feet you go to the home improvement store get you some of this in the desired length so this is for your house like a vent hood or dryer something like that so then you would just connect it straight to that piece like that so you might have to get creative with it but you could figure something out for sure if you needed a longer exhaust vent on it so they do sell these with no exhaust vent pieces i would highly recommend that you get this stuff so we're finished using it let's see how easy it goes back in the box So the lights are going to be pushed down on the filter. Truly portable. The box is very cool. I'm going to keep it. So I went from depressed to happy because with that paint booth, you're able to see everything going on and you'll know when to stop if things aren't going on there even. So that portable paint booth is a win no matter what, no questions asked. I highly recommend it. We're going to start airbrushing. I went to Harbor Freight to start with and pretty much bought everything they have. I did order four airbrushes. They're coming in the mail and we also will be testing this airbrush you buy that comes with an air can this might be very cool i'm sure there's hundreds of videos on it already but i'm going to do my version of it so if you're interested in starting airbrush from the beginning come along my journey subscribe because i'm going to learn how to do it because rattle canning these expensive bodies like this is not always a good idea so i've never airbrushed in my life so I'm going to have to practice a little bit. Video coming soon. Airbrushing this body in that paint booth. And hopefully it's going to come out beautiful and perfect. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.